Hey there, this is Jack Tyler from the Boston Sack Shop, and I just wanted to take a minute to sincerely thank you for the opportunity to let us work on your saxophone. As a player myself, I know that these instruments become so much more than tools to make music, but are truly extensions of ourselves, and your trust in us is deeply appreciated. Now, when you first receive your horn back from BSS, you're gonna notice the addition of key clamps. Now, the purpose of key clamps is to keep even and consistent pressure on both the pads and regulation materials when you are not playing. And when you use these properly and regularly, it will significantly decrease the chance for leaks and the need for future adjustments. So do yourself a favor and get out your phone and take a picture of the key clamps when they are on your horn for the first time so that you can reference the orientation as you are learning to use them. Now, to remove the key clamps, you want to use a rolling motion like so. Now, if the clamp feels stuck, stop and assess if it's caught on anything to avoid the possibility of bending the keys. Take your time and go slow until you get a better feel for it. Now, every time you're done playing, we recommend giving your sax a good swabbing to remove as much moisture as possible. Once the horn is dry, we strongly recommend replacing the key clamps during storage every time. Now, you really have to be consistent about this for it to work its intended way. It may take a bit of time when you're first learning how to use them, but I promise it's worth it and will quickly become second nature. Now, for the left hand, what you're gonna do is orientate the clamp into the L shape and start by placing the top of that L right by the B pearl and slowly roll it over to grab the body on the sax by the left hand thumb rest. Remember, take your time and don't force anything. Now on some tenors, you may have to kind of hop the end of the clamp over the palm D key foot like so, but most are just gonna slip on easily. Now, the right hand is actually a lot easier in my opinion. All you have to do is place the tip of the straight piece of the clamp near the F pearl behind the E pearl and the low D pearl and roll it over the body over the right hand thumb rest. Now, remember the clamps go behind the pearls, not on top of them for both the left and the right hand. The key clamps that you receive are gonna be pre-fit specifically for your saxophone, and they should have a firm but not hard pressure on the keys. All the keys on the left and the right hand should be sealed when they're being used. And if for any reason they're not, or the clamps get damaged, please contact us as soon as possible so we can help you restore them to their original shape. Now for a quick adjustment on your own, if you feel that the key clamps become a little bit too loose, you can simply bend them to make the angle a little bit smaller like so to make them grip a little bit more. Now the metal bars in the clamps bend really easy, so you just use a light pressure and kind of bounce them to get them to move. Once you feel the clamp bend, test it on your horn before you go any further to see how much you've done. Now, if they're the opposite, if they feel too tight, you just reverse that operation and make the angle of the clamps a little bit more open. During both of these adjustments, you gotta try and bend the clamps as evenly as possible to not disturb the original orientation on the keys. And as always, we are only an email away if you need help at repairs at bostonsackshop.com. In terms of basic maintenance beyond using the key clamps and swabbing your horn every time you're done, it's a really good idea to clean your pads and tone holes every month or so, depending on how much you play. What this is gonna do is help reduce sticking and also help prevent particulate from building up in the seats of the pads, which can cause unnecessary leaks. Now, I recommend using a little bit of Lemon Pledge on a Q-tip and carefully cleaning each of the pads and the tone holes using a circular motion like so. Now, you can follow that up with a clean Q-tip or even a microfiber cloth after to make sure the pads and tone holes are dry before applying the key clamps again. Now, if the pads are sticking, which of course is just an unfortunate fact of life as a saxophone player, you can also use powder paper, which is sold by Yamaha. Now with the powder paper, you're gonna put the powder side down on the tone hole, carefully close the key and pull it through. Now long-term, it's important to keep an eye and an ear out for when to change the oil on your horn. Inevitably, the lubrication that prevents the steel rods and pivot screws from rubbing on the brass keys is going to break down. And the easiest way to tell when this is happening is when the horn starts to click and clack. If you're using your saxophone every day, we recommend a clean oil and adjust or a COA at least every other year in order to do preventative maintenance against wear and keep the horn feeling quiet and the action smooth. 
Boston Sack Shop does provide this service, and if you're interested in learning more or want to make an appointment for a free consultation, please reach out to us. Again, we are thrilled to have had the opportunity to work on your horn. We hope this video was informative, and we strongly feel that by following these simple care methods, your saxophone is going to be playing great with low maintenance for years to come. As always, should you have any questions about your instrument, please contact us at repairs at bostonsaxshop.com. And thank you again.